What's going guys, me Dan Hero Films here, I'm back with another episode of NHL 16 via GM mode, and today guys, we're going to be playing the Edmonton Oilers as we saw Bergeron with a huge shot on net, and um, Edmonton is not, is not really a good team, although they do have Connor McJesus, so you got to watch out for him a little bit, as Erickson and Bergeron right now, and we're working the puck around, Char to Krug, back to Krug, takes a shot, and that is saved by, um, I have no idea. But uh, former Boston Bruin Andrew Ference is on this team, and Ference was like, you know, the enforcer, the guy that would stand up for Boston. So it's going to be interesting to see what he does here as Marchand curls around right above the red dot. And right there in a prime shooting position, Bergeron gets a nice opportunity. But I think that's Talbot in goal. I'm not sure. But we are just going to, you know, just slowly destroy this team. Uh, the only two people we have to worry about, again, is Connor McJesus and... Um, I know it's Connor McDavid, but I mean, he is just freaking awesome. It's Jimmy Hayes passes it up to David Pasternak. Um, oh my god, it's a scoring chance. But they also have Taylor Hall, who we have to watch out for. And um, both those guys are really good uh, at scoring. Wait, do, wait, 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 wait. Am I having a brain fart here? Taylor Hall is on Edmonton. Yeah, I see. Okay, I was. I get Edmonton and Buffalo confused a lot, and I just thought for a second that he was on Buffalo, but no, he is definitely on Edmonton. Um, so, uh, they're passing the puck up here, trying to get it into the zone, and we are just shutting down any opportunities, but they fire a pass that gets broken up by uh, Chris Kelly and company, and Chris Kelly trying to s prove why he should stay on this team. Uh, this game is a very long time ago, so I'm not sure, uh, I mean, like, I, I don't know when this was played so i mean he's not on the team as of right now um i think i traded him or something it's been that long i don't even re freaking remember but right here brett Connolly fights through contact brett Connolly with a bomb saved by talbot and it trickles out past the blue line so we have to wait with sedano chara char to krug krug carries it into the zone krug fires one from the point off uh target there and he's chased down by patrice bergeron who is, is that, oh my god, what a hit, yeah, that is Bergeron, and Connolly trying to bury it there, a nice opportunity set up by Marchand, but it's not going to go in, and that was not Bergeron, it was Bolesky the whole time, um, hold on a second, I need to enlarge this, alright, that's better, now I can see the names a little bit better, and or, or the numbers rather, I should actually turn the names on, I don't know why they're not on, but a huge opportunity for Tori Krug, and a big save, and another opportunity, I think that was Bergeron stepping up there, and we are off size with Jimmy Hayes, and he shoots it after, and Griba, I think his name is, I don't know who that is at all, I don't know many Edmonton Oilers, um, but this is going to be a fight, and I'm actually going to look up the things, turn my phone down, I have the NHL app, so I'm just going to simply go to Edmonton Oilers and just look at the roster as we carry it into the zone with Seidenberg, who shoots a bomb at Talbot. And, um, yeah, I can barely... That, his name is Hendricks, Kendricks. I don't know. I don't know many of uh, these people. Because nothing is happening, right? Nope, nope. Okay, I need to find their name really quick. I should have done this before, or I should just pause it now, but I'm too lazy. So where the frick do you see their roster? All right, this is gonna have. To, this is just gonna have to be good. Oh, here we go. Oh my God, I'm clicking freaking roster. Nothing's coming up, man. All right, so they have. Yeah, they have Hendricks. They have a guy named Kendricks. No, no, I was just seeing things. Okay, okay. Oh shoot, they scored. I even realized it. Crap. <laughs> this is very unprofessional right now. But Bolesky gets absolutely robbed, as this is. Um, I don't, I don't know. Okay, I, I'm going to give up here. Uh, David Krejci carries it through, and he's got speed. He's got room. He shoots, and he freaking buries it. David Krejci, with 42 seconds left in the first period, buries it on Cam Talbot. And it is Cam Talbot, right? Yes, okay. I'm just, I'm just making sure. So, you know, they have some good people. Andrew Ference is okay. Glenn Denning. Uh, I recognize some of these names. Ryan Nugent Hopkins. Uh, Connor kind of McJesus, obviously, you know, all these guys. But that's going to be the end of the first period. Okay, start of the second. Oh, they have Eberly. Eberly is not bad either. But, um, hold on a second. I'm going to try something else. All right, I'm going to see if this works. I can see it full screen now. So, hopefully. All right. 
everything is very bl blurry though. I don't, I don't like this. Okay, so Tori Krug passes it up to Louis Erickson, who's got Bergeron on the right. He fires it. It ricochets off of the defenseman, and it's gonna be picked up by Schultz. I can see the names. There's Taylor Hall. Um, pass over to Eberly over the middle. Zdeno Chara trying to get defense going, and it does work, but he passes it and shoots. And another opportunity for Taylor Hall, but that is passed away by Chara. And Marshan cannot get the puck, and that is so annoying. But then right there, he just reaches back and gets it. I find that retarded. Right here, a fake bomb by Bergeron. He shoots it again, and we are just putting so much pressure on Erickson to Bergeron. Cross crease. I mean, it wasn't really a cross crease. A one-timer, and there are just so many opportunities right now for the Boston Bruins. Fires a shot right off of Cam Talbot's mask. Hendricks uh, passes it, and we get the pass. Carry it into the zone. Patrice Bergeron, this has been a really good shift for him. Comes the whole way around trying to find someone. And ends up shooting it and breaks his stick. The Bruins are a man down. Schultz up to Purcell. Adam McQuaid there on the coverage. And hold on a second. Again, I'm, I'm testing things, guys. I'm testing things. All right, so David Krejci carries it into the zone. Fires a shot. Excellent shot. Jimmy Hayes gets pinned against the boards trying to get the rebound. That is not going to work out there as it's Kendricks up to Purcell again. We missed the check. And he circles around trying to find someone up to Andrew Ferentz. Back to Purcell. Over to, I, I couldn't even read his name. Okay, Hendricks fires a pass, and that is intercepted. Pa David Pasternak comes in, fires it on goal, but it is a nice save by Cam Talbot, and he is do, playing much better than I thought he would. As nice pass by uh, Pasternak. Kevin Miller goes with a bomb. He fakes him out, and it doesn't really work. But now it's Listo, I think his name is. I, I can't freaking read. Um... These names are very bad. Um, yeah, I'm just trying something new. Pol polio? Polio? I think his name is. I don't know. Is that a disease? I'm sorry if I offended someone right there. Anyway, um, Max Talbot. Not Cam Talbot. Max Talbot. Fire, or pass it up to... Uh, oh my god, I'm so far behind. To Bolesky. Bolesky shoots and scares! Matt Bolesky uh, getting the Bruins the advantage here with seven minutes left in the second period. And, you know, I shouldn't, I'm not really excited. This team is trash. Okay, they just, okay, they, they just scored on me. Okay, game, is that, is that how you want it to be? Langer dumps it in, um, recovered by uh, Zdeno Chara, up to Brett Connolly, who skates by number 70, 70, cuts in, has a man to pass to, but he doesn't pass, instead he tries to carry it in and be the man, he takes the shot, it does not work. Anyway. Uh, we check him against the boards right there. A huge check by Zdeno Char, and the fans are going crazy. We try to get out of the zone. We pass it right to the guy, and now he... Clef uh, Bomb. Is that Clef Bomb? I don't know. There's Connor McJesus, who gets hit by Tory Krug, but not fully, because Tory Krug is like an ant compared to Connor McJesus. Anyway, right here we got speed. We got speed. Louis Erickson buries it. The patience from Louis Erickson does not pay off. Uh, Eberly gets destroyed. Marshawn keeps it in. Marshawn gets an opportunity. And the Bruins are awesome. Right now, point to point. Kevin Miller. And that is an easy save for the goalie. And uh, this is Yakupov. Yakupov. That's an awesome name. But he meets Dennis Seidenberg along the walls. He pins him. And we get the puck with Dennis Seidenberg, who carries it into the zone. He's going to fire a shot. It does not work, though. Max Talbot comes around, tries to fire one on Mac, or Cam Talbot. And that is not going to happen. Polio comes in. And we just lay down with Adam McQuay trying to get something going. And that is going to be the end of the second period. Bergeron versus McDavid. Yeah, okay. Hall, McDavid, and Eberly are all on the same line. And that is, a, that is a pretty good line. That's all their players, pretty much. They generate every single one of their points. But it's tied 2-2 here. As Bergeron fires a nice shot, and that is not Cam Talbot. I apologize. I'm not sure who that is. Scringe? SCR? I don't know. Scringe? Scr I, I, that's what I read, man. I don't know. I can barely see. Okay. Excellent defense there from the Boston Bruins. Louis Erickson passes it up to Brad Marchand. Brad Marchand gets a little bit of space, curls around, throws a pass into the front of the net, and that is carried out by Taylor Hall up to Jordan Eberle, who passes it back to his defenseman, uh, Schultz. I keep, is that right? I can't read the other defenseman's name, but I can. Is that I, that is Schultz. All right, right here, a nice block by Zdeno Chara. Louis Erickson carries it up to 
ice again. It seems like he is always the one to carry it up the ice. Erickson trying to find a space to shoot. He does shoot, but it is wide of the net. Over to Bergeron, and a huge save by the goalie there. And that was that was extreme. Purcell carries it up. We're trying to get the puck away from him. He passes it to Hendricks. Hendricks looking to pass it up the middle. A huge shot. More opportunities and a big save by Tuka Rask. A bomb and Tuka Rask is coming up big for us again, even though we need, we're need. we losing these uh, face-offs. And, oh my God, a centering pass right there. And we are just denying them left and right. Another huge one-timer. A huge save by Tuka Rask. And Matt Bolesky is simply going to ice it. Actually... No, the goalie came out to play it. I don't know why he did that. and um, Or maybe it might have hit off one of my players. I'm not sure. Um, or one of their players, rather. Uh, Listo de Pulio. I, I, I think it Pouliot. I, I, his name's probably Spanish, so it's like, oh. Oh, my God, a huge pass that got cut down by Kevin Miller right here. Max Talbot trying to prove why he should be on the team. And Yakupov carries it down the ice. Yakupov is intercepted by Matt Irwin. Matt Irwin up to Chris Kelly, and Chris Kelly carries it into the zone, trying to find something to, oh my god, he gets destroyed right there. He gets pushed off the puck by Griba, the guy who got in the fight earlier. Purcell up to Korpetskov. It wasn't Kendricks the whole time, was it was Korpetskov, or maybe, I don't know if it was or not. And we missed the puck right there with Jimmy Hayes. He skates around behind the net looking for a passing option. A huge bomb and a save by Tuka Rask, and the Bruins are coming up big right now. I'm sorry that you can hear this clock, but you're just going to have to deal with it. I'm sorry. Um, I'm recording downstairs for some reason. Don't ask why. Right here, a shot by Kevin Miller, and the rebound, shoot, score! David Posternock, the kid, buries it with six minutes left to go in the game, uh, which, you know, is way too close for comfort, and this clock is going to ring. All right, it's done now. Thank you. God, it's like your teacher in class when she just stares at you awkwardly and waits for you to be quiet. I remember that from elementary school days. It's just like if you want us to be quiet, then freaking say so. Anyway, carries it in the zone there and gets flattened by Tory Krug. And Tory Krug normally does not do that. The offensive defenseman carries it into the zone, swerves in and out, shoots right up over the top of the goal. Um, uh, Marshan gets the rebound, fires it off of the leg, and it trickles out to ice. Uh, Chara up to Bergeron, and Bergeron gets destroyed right there. And Chara is leading the league in hits, actually, yeah, by a mile. Um, <laughs> he, he's just dominating the league in hits. And now pass up to Marshawn. Marshawn's got speed. He's got speed. He fires it, but it was poke checked away by the former Bruin, Andrew Ferentz. Ed Jordan Eberly carries it up, and a huge hit is put on him, but a huge shot. And I mean, everything is just huge right now, man. Adam McQuaid, Darth McQuaid, um, Darth McQuaid, or I think that's his nickname, I don't know. Um, big hits all day, baby. Right here, a bomb! And he ties it. 3-3, three, three. Korpasovsky, Korpov, I can't, I'm sorry. <laughs> it's, it's not going to happen. Korpavos, Korpavosky, I don't know. But... There's less than a minute left, guys, and it's looking like we're going to overtime, but there's a tripping penalty by Dennis Seidenberg, but everyone is just standing there. No one knows where the puck is. No one knows where it is. I don't even know, and it looks like the ref lost sight of it, so he has to blow a whistle. Yakupov fires a shot up to Ninx. I, I think that's his name. I couldn't... I don't know. Le Lesto gets destroyed. A bomb! And they're having so many opportunities here with 15 seconds left. We're trying to get the puck away. And, oh my god, that was almost tipped in. Matt Irwin is simply going to flick it up out of the zone. An excellent job by the Boston Bruins getting that out of the zone. And one final shot is going to happen, but it is wide of the net. So they're on the power play for a minute 34, and we are going into overtime. Ladies and gentlemen, Bergeron loses the face off to Connor McJesus, I think it was. In a huge, so many opportunities. But now look at who's on a breakaway. Kevin Miller up the ice. Kevin Miller with shoots and scores! Kevin Miller beats the goalie top shelf. And I'm like, holy mother of God, that was awesome. And that's going to be the end of this game, guys. I hope you enjoyed. We win 4-3 in overtime, 28-20 to in shots, and we destroy them in hits. Thank you guys for watching. Come here and subscribe. Me your veggies. Go to school. Dan Carr Films out. Peace!